Before we start this video, I just want to say only 1.9 of people who watch my videos are subscribed to the channel, so make sure you're subscribed, it will help out with the channel a lot. So anyway, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what is up everybody, it is me back again with a brand new video, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own pickup system using proximity prompts. So basically the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to take your tool, which you're going to be picking up, and put it in server storage or replicate, or replicate storage, it doesn't really matter. Then you're going to want to take like the core, like the main like mesh of your tool, and then put it into workspace, and this is going to be your pickup. So basically I'm just going to put this on the ground right next to the spawn location, I'm just going to make a floating tune, and make sure to anchor it. And then you want to go to the main part of your of your, um, of your like mesh, and then you're going to want to want to add a proximity prompt and a, and a server script. So here is our script right here. So what you're gonna wanna do in the script is, let me just delete this. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do in the script is you wanna do script dot, dot uh, parent, oh, I, I can't even put dot, dot parent dot proximity prompt dot triggered, then trigger right, right there, and then do connect, and then do function, and then do play, play capital P player. And then press what the heck? And then press enter, and then it'll make like an end, so it's complete. So it's complete the string. Then what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to do game dot server storage, aka where your like where your like where your items uh, stored, and then do your do your item name, which is, which mine is AR, and then do colon clone, and then do dot parent, and then do equals, and this is where like your like, this is where your tool is gonna be after it gets cloned, and then do player. Dot backpack, which is the player's backpack, which like which like which like puts it in their inventory. Then what you're gonna want, the last thing you're gonna want to do is you want to go low down and do script script dot parent dot parent and then destroy, which basically just this, this, this destroys it after you pick it up. So now let's try it out. So let's just test it out to see if this works. So let's, we're approaching the item here. And then what you want to do is press press E. And then boom! Now you have it in your inventory. I don't know why it's not. I don't know why the inventory is not showing. Cause the info. Okay. As you can see, it is in our inventory now, and it works perfectly fine. So now I'm gonna be showing you guys how to um, change like the name of it. So basically, you wanna go to your proximity prompt. Make sure you click View and then click Properties to make sure that's open. As you can see, let me just close this. As you can see, here is like all the options you could do for the proximity prompt. So for the action text, I'm, I'm just gonna put it as Pick Up Weapon. Option is gonna pick up. And then you could do object text too. I'm just gonna put like, I'm just gonna put um, assault rifle since it's since it's assault rifle. And there we go. And uh, you can ch you could change like the the, the key for it. you could change it to F. Oh, that's the wrong thing. F. As you can see, you can also change the activation like activation distance, which allows you like how far you can like activate it. And uh, I'm gonna make it so you can hold so you have to hold it for one second. As you can see. So now I'm going to be showing you guys. Uh, so you know. So let's just go back to let's go back right into the game. Basically, let's approach let's approach this again. As you can see, it says assault rifle and pick up. And then press F. As you can see, hold it down. Bam. And that's how you make a basic pickup system. And also, if you want more Roblox stores, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I post. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, subscribe, and without further ado, this is Josh signing off. Peace.